Okay, so I just found out that apparently my 04 has the light up headlight switch and yeah, if you uh, turn this thing, oh fuck, and don't lose it, there's a burnt out he headlight light switch, which I didn't know. So I'm gonna replace this with an LED, although I think the green covering thing is possibly damaged unless it's in there. I'll shine a light down there and test it. Um, but one thing to know is that turns your headlights and corner lights on if you, yeah, those are burning out for some fucking reason, I don't know why. Um, if you take the headlight switch out, it um, turns on all of your lights. So, just a little FYI. Okay, and so I just tested and the uh, it, the green tint is on here. I've seen somewhere the bulb has a green covering, but it's actually tinted in here. So I'm just going to go replace this with a white LED and a resistor so it works at 12 volts properly. And then uh, also plug this in so my lights aren't on. Even though they're LED, uh, there and on the back, um, except for the license plate, I don't want to drain the battery unnecessarily, even though it wouldn't take too long. Okay, so I've got a little 5mm uh, white LED. Come on, focus on the damn thing. 5mm white LED with a 300 ohm resistor. Um, and that works well on the bench at least, at least sort of 14, 15 volts. I'll need to drill out um, the little section in this uh, because if I go ahead and put the phone down and try to insert the LED. Because of the resistor, uh, it sits up a little bit. I think I was able to, yeah. So, and only a little bit of the one wire is coming through. So I'm going to drill that out a little bit and then uh, should be able to mount it in at the same position. Okay, so I uh, drilled it out uh, and I needed to redo the holes for the actual leads uh, with a really super tiny drill. Uh, this is the size that I used to actually drill it out in the first place. Um, and it looks pretty good. It's not sitting super flush and like dead on. Come on. Come on. Alright, so, okay, yeah, there we go. So it's a little off. I need to check if I got the polarity right, but it's pretty easy to just swap these leads around. And this thing just refuses to focus up close. Jesus Christ. There we go. Ish. So you can see I got the leads coming around, and the LED isn't sitting super flush, but it's pretty good. So I'm going to put it in and see if it works. Okay, so there we have it. Um, the, based on the shape of the reflector and the fact that this is an LED, um, yeah, interestingly, it does have a little bit of flicker. Uh, based on the shape of the reflector, uh, incandescent would shine more, and so the very rightmost thing isn't lighting up quite as much as it should. Um, but I might be able to break the LED and get it to work. But that's actually not too bad. I'll turn all the lights off and uh, show you with them all in the dark. Okay, so pretty much black, but if I can find it. That's not too bad. It's not gonna focus. Um, yeah. Well, it's not gonna focus, but uh, yeah, we got some uh, lighting going on and that Oh yeah, that's super dim because I don't have it plugged in. Hang on a sec. Okay, this should be a bit better. There we go. So, got our dash lights, whatever. And that lighting up, which, I mean, it didn't at all before, so that's pretty nice. I didn't know that mine would light up. Uh, so, I'm quite happy with that. I thought the center of the switch was supposed to light up a bit, but it doesn't, so. Uh, oh well. So yeah, pretty successful LED conversion for that. Uh, yeah, you know what, I think I will break the LED and see if I can get it to shine out a little bit more. That way it uh, spreads out the light properly. Hey, and so the technique for cracking, breaking the LED, like I said, I've heard it referred to as called cracking the ice. Where you basically just want to take some side cutters. Come on. And basically just decapitate it. You don't want to break the actual uh, LED part inside. But you can break the resin and leave it still working. Oh, now it works. So whatever, basically it diffuses the LED. Okay, and so I'll have to compare the footage. I'll do it in the light and the dark, but um, 
But yeah, it's definitely, oh, and the camera's really smoothed that out. These two are still a bit brighter, but I'm guessing that they are pretty much like that from factory. Um, so that looks really nice and even on the camera, actually. So yeah, breaking the uh, LED definitely helped. It sort of made this one a bit brighter and dimmed these two a little bit. Uh, so it's, it's not like an incandescent bulb would be, but um, it's a heck of a lot closer. Okay, and so there we have it during the night. I don't think it'll focus at all. But yeah, pretty even illumination. Uh, camera really picks it up nicely. You can kind of, oh, you can kind of see how that one is a little darker. But yeah, I bet that's pretty close to factory. So that's how you can uh, use an LED for fixing your uh, light for 03 and up, I think it is actually.